Feeling it's you, the every woman. I am. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Zara Alexandrova, thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you for having me. You're you so gorgeous. I have hair envy. I'm not going to lie right now. <laughs> and I like, I really want your hair. You got so it, Cotton. It's gorgeous. I'll take you to my guy. <laughs> it's so liberating. It is. And this was a part of uh, me deciding to be an every woman. Uh, first, one of the first moves that I uh, made, I cut my hair. Wow. Uh, Why did and you then, cut your hair? Um, you know what? I was bored. I was uh, trying to get some uh, new... Um, I was trying to change my life to everything that I always wanted to be. Mm -hmm. And that, that was every woman. And uh, it was like a good move because I had blue, bl black, long hair. And I was like, okay, you know what? I'm going to do a dramatic change and just uh, go from there. He it. didn't want to cut my hair. He was like, go away. I mean, uh, I, I don't want you to come back and cry. I said, well, let me prove you. Right. Well, when I'm bored, I usually go see a matinee or something. But <laughs> <laughs> that's one way of making this exciting. You are very excited. You are styling people around the globe, right? Lifestyle consultant, True. doing all budgets. What does that mean? So if someone comes to you and they're like, okay, like I might be a client of yours, just so you know. Like, what, what does that look like? Um, uh, so first of all, I get to know them. And I never make anyone feel like they're not uh, there yet. Mm -hmm. But we, I, I ask them if they want to see themselves from a different view because... Uh, I would like to see myself just like that. Yeah. <laughs> because that is so wildly chic and glamorous. Uh, and uh, they, they just like, I make friends with my clients and uh, make them comfortable, tell them which part of their uh, uh, character I um, like the most. And we're going to concentrate on that part and... Um, we move from there. You know, confidence is everything. Everything. Is. Have you always been confident? Um, I can say yes, since really? I remember. Wow. Yeah, I grew up in a family of uh, many girls, and I was kind of a middle of attention for everything. Every uh, time I was like, oh, why can't you be like her? Uh, and I, I kind of felt uncomfortable at the beginning, but then I said, you know what, I'm just going to, uh, hold on to that and like make uh, everybody's life better because I have confidence I have no problems at all. Yeah. <laughs> so in doing that, you created this beautiful platform and you're really marketing yourself as the every woman. How would you define that woman? Who is the every woman? Um, mother. Not everybody knows this, but I have two beautiful children. Uh, my daughter is turning 17 on the 19th of October. Wow. My son is 15. Um, uh, I am uh, um, a boss lady mm -hmm. <laughs> because I decided to be. And uh, why I decided to be a boss lady because I didn't want to uh, work for anyone who can tell me what to do. Because I think I kind of lose my um, sparkle when I work for somebody else and I have to like agree with them. So I said, you know what, I think I better off to be just my own boss and move from there. And um, and then I am a good daughter. I'm a good friend. I love my friends and I always try to um, spend as much time as I can with my friends because they give me motivation, inspiration. You know, I like compliments. <laughs> <laughs> like every woman. I like compliments too. Well, so much of, of really putting your best foot forward is in what you wear. Whether it's the shoes on your feet or the clothes, that's really half the part. Um, it does. I do believe that people have to um, enjoy. Uh, for me, it's really important to just look at you and uh, um, aesthetically uh, just feel like I'm looking at something that like my eye loves it, you know, and then I'm interested. Mm -hmm. If uh, you have dirty, oily hair, I'm going to just look at you and think about your hair. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Like, I, I don't think that it defines us, but there's something that when you walk in a room and you're really, truly put together, there's something that happens, I think, on all levels, thinking that if, if they are able to do that with such, you know, 
with such greatness that what else can they do with greatness? They're like commands of respect. It's so true. It um, engages from a psychology perspective, engages the confirmation bias. So that's why it's so important to set a really strong first impression is that our minds don't like to have to make changes. We don't like to change at all. So when you make a good first impression with clothes and the way that you is do. Is that what it is? It is. It's confirmation You're bias. You're like, oh, that's just too much of a fixer up. <laughs> yeah. 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 Your mind doesn't like it. Speaking of impressions, LA is making a great impression in the global fashion industry right now. Let's talk a little bit about that. Um, you know what? Uh, if you asked me two years ago, uh, I would probably be very sad. Like I would make the face. I would even cry about LA's fashion. But nowadays, I mean, I've been so involved and uh, I was one of the um, uh, ambassadors for LA Fashion Week two years ago. I was invited and uh, when I said yes, nobody could have believed. They were like, what? You're actually going to do it? I'm, I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to just sit there and complain. I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to see what they have, what issues. We're, we're, we're going to just fix it. I'll tell them. I know they might not like a lot of judgment, but I'm going to tell them. And uh, I hope one of them will hear me. And you know what? Yes, I love it. I Nowadays, like everybody is trying and there is effort, first of all. And we're growing and uh, it's really become LA becoming uh, is becoming uh, the one of the most cosmopolitan cities and fashion is the biggest um, part for uh, building that mm -hmm. there's great and local designers LA Fashion Week is coming up October 11th through the 14th will you be there um, probably mm -hmm. if I'm not too busy uh, doing good morning shows <laughs> 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 I love it. Well, you are so beautiful and gorgeous Thank inside you. out. Um, so proud of you for your, your children and all the work that you're doing. And you ladies got to stick together. We need some strong women that are not 17 years old in the fashion industry. It's time to rock every age and claim our, you know, the gorgeous women that we already are. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much. Tell people where they can find you. Uh, um, you can find me on Instagram, Alexandra Vazara. And uh, obviously, my uh, website is uh, I'm Every Woman. And uh, I have Facebook, and I don't really have time for uh, maintaining a lot of things. But you know what? Uh, I do love stories. I do a lot of stories on Instagram. And this is where I can actually show everybody how fun and uh, uh, beautiful life is. Mm, well, when that. she's on an Instagram, she's on just about every best dress in town. town. <laughs> so, thank you so that much. That too. Let's <laughs> see you at Fashion Week. Focus. Take us through this break, baby. <laughs> <laughs>